Did you know that the latest Google Cloud Professional Architect beta exam challenges you to solve real world AI ML scenarios and apply generative AI concepts? The best part, I'll show you how you can use a powerful resource from Google Cloud to create solutions for these scenarios. Stick around until the end because I'll share how to leverage this tool to prepare like a pro and ace the exam. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I recently passed GCP Cloud Architect beta exam and it was a thrilling experience. The exam tested not only my technical knowledge, but also my ability to design practical AI driven solutions. In this video, I'll walk you through what's new in the beta exam, including the focus on generative AI and AI ML use cases, my top tips and strategies for preparation. And at the end, I'll show you how to use Google Cloud AI to tackle real world scenarios like a pro. Let's start with what's new. Expect questions that require you to design AI ML pipelines, integrate generative AI, and solve specific use cases. The Symbol Retail and Altostrat Media case studies test your ability to create scalable and secure architectures. The exam is all about applying your knowledge to real world challenges, just like a cloud architect would do in their role. Here is how I prepared and how you can too. Start with the exam guide. Download it and map out your study plan based on the key topics. Master the case studies. Analyze Symbol Retail and Altostart Media case studies thoroughly. Think about how to use AML tools to solve their challenges. Hands-on practice. Get into Google Cloud Console. Use services like Vertex AI and practice designing end-to-end -end solutions. Focus on AIML use cases. Understand how to use Google Cloud AI tools such as Vision AI, Vertex AI, and Document AI to solve business challenges. And remember, it's not just about the tools, it's about the solution. Now, as promised, here is how you can use Google Cloud AI to tackle AIML scenarios for the exam. So now all you have to do is go through the case study. For example, here I'm going through symbol retail case study and uh, prepare thoroughly because in the exam you don't have to waste your time going through the case study again and again you're going to get exactly the same case study for the exam the way you can prepare easily for the technical requirements or build solutions before you go to the exam is very simple all you have to do is take any technical requirement here and i want to specifically focus on AIML because i'm sure you want to prepare for the other scenarios on ci cd or cost optimization and other things which i'm not going to discuss here or even kubernetes they might ask a question for instance if i have to get a solution for one of this AIML, which is image generation and enhancement so copy this and previously if you're using chat gpt i wouldn't recommend you to do that so go to the actual ai and machine learning projects page i'm going to paste the link in the description and here paste the requirement it did not copy certain things properly here different product images so it is different correct things here and i think rest of the things are fine now generate recommendations so the best part is it is giving you the step-by-step -step solution for the problem like for instance prepare the base image upload that to cloud storage and use utilize vertex ai studio um, and also use cloud monitoring and cloud logging you can look at the entire architecture diagram here. If you are new to AI based solutions in GCP like me, because even I do not know much of AIML solutions in, in GCP, I somehow was able to manage by elimination of the different options and as well use this, use this tool to create the solutions so that you are better prepared. For instance, you might, you might not be aware of Vision AI, what it does or Vertex AI Studio. This will give you an easy way of preparing for the scenarios. Otherwise, you have to spend a lot of time understanding each service. Similarly, I have done for Altostart Media case study. Just copy paste whatever you find here. And, and that's it. You're going to cover all the AML stuff that is present in these case studies. I hope this would cut short your preparation for the AML, especially for AML. For rest of the things, you still you still have to prepare the way you do. Like, you should be aware of CI/CD stuff and and other things. Let me know if if this was helpful, and let me know if you want me to still cover these case studies in detail. Taking the GCP Cloud Architect Beta exam was a rewarding experience. 
and i hope this video equips you with the insights you need to succeed if you found this helpful please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more certification tips and tutorials and if you are curious about any aml tools or any questions about the exam drop a comment below i would love to help and also you can look at my other case studies that i have discussed for the gcp architect exam and you can understand how to approach each case study and prepare well for the exam thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one until then happy learning and keep building amazing things in cloud